Hey everyone, Mauricio here. In this sneak peek video for episode 18, we'll be giving you a short overview of the changes this week at Starbase Texas. These images were taken from our flyover conducted yesterday on Wednesday, September 20th, so stay tuned for additional angles, renders, and more in our full length video coming out on Sunday, as well as our Starbase weekly show on Saturday. Starting off our tour Massey's, where our first look is at the ongoing construction of the new road, where it seems like there's just been a fresh pour road base ahead of future concrete pour. This road base already in use by these tankers, which are busy filling up these LN2 tanks. Following this road all the way to the burst pad, we see S26.1, also known as the ship aft section test article, hooked up to cryogenic lines ahead of burst testing. How do we know this? Looking at the top, these straps connect to the ring and run up to connect to the middle of the top dome. These straps are here in order to prevent the dome from popping upwards when S26.1 is overpressurized. Not to mention, over the past weeks, crews have also built up this dirt berms around the burst pad to protect the surroundings. We'll expand on S26.1 more in the full length update video, but for now, let's move on to Sanchez. The changes at Sanchez are few and far between this week. We can see the arms that will be used for the hold down clamps on the black stands waiting for installation. Up on the border of the site next to the wetlands, we can see crews have started breaking up the area that was used for construction of the orbital launch integration tower sections. Is this a possible rocket garden expansion in progress? Finally, up in the staging area next to Mega Bay 2, we can see elevator shafts starting to be built for installation in the back corners of the bay. And that's all for now at Sanchez. How about the build site? We'll start off at the build site by taking a look at Megabay 2, where the LR11000 crane is still chugging away lifting roof segments one by one. This week, we noticed that the top section has gained some flooring, which is made of corrugated plating which will support the concrete for the office area of Megabay 2. Next up, groundwork continues at the former locations of Midbay and Tents 1 and 2, as excavators prepare this large plot of land for the foundations of the Star Factory, which for now still continues to expand downwards to Highway 4. This first layer of roofing panels has also been installed onto the sections of Phase 2 expansion and workers continue to erect these taller steel beams which will eventually be responsible for nose cone production in the Star Factory. Meanwhile, no updates yet on this patch of land that SpaceX currently does not own, but we'll let you know as soon as we hear anything, so make sure you subscribe so you never miss any weekly Starbase flavor updates. Moving on to the launch site by the suborbital side, I guess we'll never know what was buried in these trenches we saw here last week because this week there is no evidence they were ever there. A convoy of trucks with belly dump trailers can be seen bringing in dirt to raise the grade at this location. Over at the tank farm expansion area, we can see, you guessed it, more concrete work underway. We'll have to wait a little bit longer before we know what they could be doing here. Down at the deluge farm, we can see the concrete pad that was being prepared last week has now been poured. Finally, the Fondax sections that were waiting to be poured last week have yet again been poured. We can see what looks like burlap covering over the top of each area to aid with curing. Do you think this will be the last time we see these areas being worked on? Let me know in the comment section down below. And that's it for our brief preview of the changes at Starbase this week. Consider supporting us on Patreon to gain access to premium flyover pictures. This support helps pay for the expenses associated with the flyover. Stay tuned for the full 20 minute full analysis video coming out on Sunday. And thanks for watching and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed our content. And subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on seeing more videos like this. That's all for now.